All right, today I'm going to mess around with Zerg pool. I want to understand if I can use Zerg pool like nice hash in a way where you pick the most profitable coin to mine and get paid out in Bitcoin. Kind of like unminable where you can say, I just want to get paid out in this coin. But the thing with unminable, if you look here, they only mine random X, which is Monero. If you're doing CPU mining, and I'm just worried about CPUs right now because all the GPUs I have are allocated to two miners mining ETH hash, getting paid out in Bitcoin. And you notice I just said Bitcoin a couple times. Why? Well, if you've been around a while or if you're new, you should be observing that Bitcoin is king. Bitcoin sets the trend for the other coins. All coins can go away. Look at Luna. You could put money in all these all these crap coins and you could... You can lose it all. I think Bitcoin is probably the most stable. It's the leader. It's why people got into crypto. So my goal is now all my losers, I just kind of flipped them over. They were down and I did flip them over to Bitcoin. I just want to start uh, stacking Satoshis. I want to start stacking Bitcoin for the next bull run. And again, this is my own research. This is for my own entertainment. Do your own research, not financial advice, guys. Come on. Don't listen to some idiot in a server room with fans behind him and GPUs baking him for financial advice. But again, I'm just going by what I see, my experience, and for entertainment. Yeah. And here I am on a mineable, for example, and I am mining, and I'm using the random X, so that's what they give you. You can't pick any other coin to mine, but they will pay you out in the coin you choose. And in this case, it's CRO, which is crypto.com. I just want to experiment with that. I have, I have broken past the balance, the minimal payout balance of 75 but this is an ERC-20 token. I hate Ethereum. I do mine it for money. That I use it to mine, to make Bitcoin. The fact that this is an ERC-20 token, I just wanted to prove I could do it. But I know when I'm moving that damn coin on the Ether network, and uh, depending on gas fees, it's going to cost me a lot of money. And I don't like that. Like this ERC-20 to token, ERC token stuff, I hate it. Uh, but luckily... Unfortunately, we've been having low gas fees lately, like below 30, which has been a blessing. But in the heyday, months ago, it was up to 300 gas fee. So everything you're mining, you're paying in network fees. I hate Ethereum network. And I think when it goes to merge, uh, proof of stake, I don't know. I think this thing's going to go to zero or close to it because the network uh, traffic is going to be down from the miners and payouts and stuff like that. And you got to think about that. That's going to drop the network traffic. NFTs are a fad. I think they're dying off. I think it's like Crypto Kitties or BitConnect. Uh, I just think people are getting wise. Like, what do I want a stupid digital art? It's, come on. Get get rich quick. You can't. Come on. It's ridiculous. But anyway, enough about that. So if we're looking on Zergpool, you can get payout in anything. If you go to the Zergpool.com, the main page, you can specify your payout currency. Right now, we're doing Bitcoin. You can specify your region, your algorithm. So what you can do with the algorithm is let's do Minotaur X. Why Minotaur X? So I'm just going through here. You can say, look at the profit pack factor. Pactor. <laughs> they have a pool status page. You can say, look at my current estimate. And uh, they have a C for CPU, G for GPU, A for ASIC, and F for FFPG or whatever, disk, I don't know, whatever that is. But you can get an idea what the profit is based on MBTC per mega hash or giga hash, uh, kilo hash a day. So yeah, you can go over here and click. You can sort by the current estimate. And of course, on the ASICs, it's Bitcoin, which is SHA256. We don't care about this. But I noticed that the CPU one is Minotaur X. Well, what is that? Oh my gosh, I get 0.75 current estimate. I'm just trying to read it this way. I'm an idiot. I'm trying to figure this out. The hash rate is pretty low, 1.7. The miners are kind of low. So you're thinking, oh man, I should actually be uh, harvesting lots of coins if I use this. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to figure this out. There's no set uh, answer for this. I even went to the Zergpool Discord and they say, just know your hash rate for your rigs or your CPU and multiply it by the current estimate, and that should give you an idea of what you should get in, in Bitcoin. And it's, I don't know, I'm not exactly seeing that, but I guess it gives you a warm fuzzy. So what I did, I said, let's go look at Minotaur X. What is Minotaur X? That's an algorithm. And in Minotaur X, you have these three coins. 
Mazacoin, Litecoin Cash, and Avian. Avian was formerly Ravencoin Lite. I'm not into it. I didn't mine it, but I just don't think they have their act together. It just seems, again, one of those coins that could go to zero and there's not much activity. You could waste a lot of electricity speculating on it and come up with zero. Uh, I'm tired of that. I just want to get Bitcoin. <laughs> I just want Bitcoin. And so what do you do? If you want to mine this whole algorithm, which happens to be Minotaur X, all you do... You can go to Zerg pool, the main page. You can say, let's zip through it. Algorithm is Minotaur X. Click on Minotaur X for CPU mining of that algorithm. Payout currency is Bitcoin. Region, I'm in, I'm in America. Um, or, or whatever what's left of America. And you can specify the coins you want to do. If you just want to do one of the coins in Minotaur X, you can just specify it. LCC, uh, Maza, whatever. But if you want to do all the coins in the algorithm, you just slash separate them. So if it's Maza and uh, Litecoin Cash, geez, I can't type it. LCC and Avian, you do that. And then that's going to do the best profit mining of that coin in that algorithm for you so you can go scroll down and like anything read the damn web page and you'll actually learn something i didn't even know this until i started to read through this going what can i do with this uh payout coin so you go down down you go on down and you hopefully will find it soon like right here right here guys uh option three mine particular coins with auto exchange to pay out address you can also specify a set of coins using the slash character. Mine coin, which is MC equals SIM1 slash SIM2 slash SIM3, whatever, 2. Uh, pull will be mining most profitable coin among defined set. Example, to mine in Innova or Gun coin or GoBite and pay, get paid on a Litecoin, you do this. Here's your payout coin, which is C, and then this one is going to do uh, mining the most profitable coin among the mine set. And it has to be in the same algorithm because it doesn't make sense. If you're mixing coins in different algorithms, it's going to confuse it because you're basically going to that stratum for that algorithm. So it has to be the coins in the algorithm. So in this case, there's three coins for Minotaur X and you just uh, separate them by slashes. Let's go to Minotaur X. Click on that. You get the coins. So that's what I'm doing with that. I have two CPUs. I, I pulled off the uh, Aminable and I want to see how does this work. So I put one CPU mining the algorithm Minotaur X with see three coins. I'll show you that in a second. And I also did, oh, what is it? Ghost Rider, right? And I got to find that now since I didn't sort it. Oh, there it is, Ghost Rider. And you can see it's actually on the pull status. It has less profitability than the Minotaur X. So here it's, they're saying 0.649 estimated. And uh, Ghost Rider was a bit less which is 0 0.004, be a big difference, right? So here are the two coins on Ghost Rider, and you can uh, specify those by doing RTM slash BTRM with the Ghost Rider algorithm. And I put that on a second CPU, same CPUs, Ryzen 9 3900Xs, and I just want to see which, which one gives me the most Bitcoin over time. I'm just trying to figure out how you pick the most profitable coin because just looking at this number in the estimate column and your hash rate isn't really giving me, I would, I don't know, is it giving me the numbers I expected? I would expect, hey, this is the most profitable coin. I can mine it with my CPU, blammo, let's mine that and I'll get the most Bitcoin in payout. It doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm, I'm, I'm probably an idiot and not doing this right, but I'm just putting this video out there to show that you can do it. You can mine the most profitable coin in a uh, algorithm on Zerg pool and get paid out in Bitcoin or get paid out in the same coin. I don't care. Or pick the coin you want to get paid out. I would su I would suggest Bitcoin because Bitcoin is king. Like I said, it sets the trend. And hopefully one day crypto will decouple from the equities market and not follow it one to one when the markets crash, the tech sector crashes on the, on the uh, NASDAQ and S&P 500. Crypto is not far, bit, far behind, and I hate that. I thought it was going to be a separate entity with price fluctuations, but it's not. And that is very concerning to me about crypto. That's the main thing that really concerns me is the Fed controlling us. What is going on? I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, but it does appear that crypto is in a four-year cycle of ups and downs. And uh, maybe that's, interestingly enough, maybe that is baked into the software. It makes you wonder that it seems like the pattern of repetition, although the magnitude increases every four years, it's almost the same pattern down to the month. I just wonder if they bake that into the code and pe they're just saying if there's some smart people out there that understand trend and now or trend patterns, not graph analysis like these fools do in other YouTube channels. So if you look at the Ghost Rider coins right here, you got Raptorium and you got BitTorium and there's a 0.004 estimate in uh, MBTC kilohash a day. And if you look over here on Ghost Rider, it is 0 0.004. It's updating right now. I got to find it again. 0 0.004. So this row right here in this column with current estimate matches this table right here. And you can see what is the, um, what is the hash rate? We're about 2.2 mega hash and there's 4,200. So let's round up. You got solo miners. So what, uh, 40, let's just say there's a uh, five, six, seven, eight, just say 5,000 miners, right? Minotaur X is at 0.77. Click on that, you get the coins, get the coins, get the coins, get the coins. Again, this matches to the estimate of 0.7. All right, so what I did, I got two CPUs running. One is running Minotaur X with these three coins. One is running Ghost Rider with the Bitorium, uh, Bit Bittorium and Raptorium coins. Let's go look at that. So what I do, I mine to a Bitcoin wallet. So you need to have a Bitcoin wallet set up and that is specified in your in your uh, mining software. So Minotaur X, I cannot mine with XM rig. So I have to use our SRB miner. So if you look at my workers here, you'll see I have an SRB miner. This guy is mining, getting paid out in Bitcoin. Here is the mining coins right here. And there's this slash specification to give me the most profitable coin in that algorithm of Minotaur X, Maza, LCC, AVN. And you put that in there and it's gonna find you the best coin for that algorithm at that time. And same with this other one, Rig 10, is I'm using XM Rig, just cause I use XM Rig as much as I can on uh, all the platforms you know, Supernova for Raptorium, uh, Minifacil, R Plant, et cetera. I use XM Rig and even for um, Unminable, I use XM Rig. And here I do specify C equals Bitcoin, mining coin equals uh, Bitorium and Raptorium. And uh, gives you your hash rate on both of them and the number of shares you get. And this down here shows you your, uh, shows your earnings. So here it shows I got Mazacoin. So it kind of gives you a visual what is most probable at the time. So Mazacoin was doing well. Uh, how long ago? Percentage, amount. And it gives you the amount of Bitcoin you're getting. So it gives you a warm fuzzy of who is giving you the most rewards in which algorithm and which coin. It's kind of nice that way. So you go through, you see Mazacoin's nailing it. <clears throat> we got Mazacoin Bitorium. Uh, look at that, it's 1384 one, Mazacoin is really hitting good. Uh, Mazacoin, yeah, Mazacoin's really doing good. I don't know why, oh, I had to ignore this virus coin. I had a miner running accidentally, so I'm not counting this one. I was trying to see a virus coin, because again, this one is highly rated in profitability, but I was mining it last night and I just wasn't getting the payouts. It was taking hours. I said, oh, this probably isn't going to be worth the time. So I just did the other ones. I did Minotaur X and Ghost Rider. And uh, yeah, let's go through this. Litecoin's the one, Bitorium. There, Bitorium comes up there and then Litecoin Cash. So visually just looking at this, it looks like Minotaur X is really giving me a lot of stuff, which are still immature, but let's get some more rows here. Let's do 50, 50, let's do 50. We're doing 50. And uh, then you got Victorium. Mazacoin really does well, look at that. So these are some of the uh, the earnings. Now if you go up top here, again, ignore the various coin. I did only mine that for like an hour and didn't get, I just go, this isn't gonna be part of my test. So I just went back to Ghost Rider and Minotaur X. And this shows you the coins it's been hitting on. Oh, it actually hit on Raptorium. We got Raptorium, Litecoin, and Maza. 
And what you can do, it'll actually give you your uh, hash rate. Let me reload this page. Let's get it updated just to make sure it has the latest and greatest. And it kind of gives you your hash rate, 15.4 kilohash on Minotaur X. And I got about 4.5 running. And it's sitting on Raptorium now. Ghost Rider. TFF is, wow, nine hours versus five minutes. Interesting. Okay. So we got that running. And you can go over here. And you get a minimum payout. This comes about 30, 40 bucks, point oh, 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 eight, nine, two, six Bitcoin. So I'm only about 5%. I got a way to go. I'm only just playing right now. But uh, you can go up here. You see what, see what Bitcoin you have pending. And then you can actually click on show details per coin. So click on that. It'll show you what it's been paying you out in. So, so far what I got paid out in. And it's not quite 24 hours. I'm going to say it's about uh, da, 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 over 12 hours. Let's say we're about 15 hours in. Notorium, uh, let's see. I just go through. You can get your percentage shared. And it looks like on the Ghost Rider, Victorium is king uh, over Raptorium. I don't seem to have hit any Raptorium. I've been hitting Victorium. So there, that, one, that tells you which coin in that other room is doing well. So that's one stat you could use. And it tells me I'm 58.57% of the mining right here. Then uh, down here, I got Minotaur X, which is Litecoin Cash and Maza Coin. And you can see that Litecoin Cash does a little bit better performance-wise, profitability-wise, than Maza Coin. Uh, but now, yeah, ignore this little Vers Vers coin, Veris Coin. So if we add that up, and I always hate doing public math, but if we do uh, percentage-wise, 101, I mean, you look at the total coins, <clears throat> total estimated value so far is, um, I just go by the last three numbers, so 270 equated, you know, fractional of Bitcoin at 58.57% versus 190 using Minotaur X. So it looks like to me, my CPUs do better on Ghost Rider algorithm, and in this case, mining Victorium, even though in the mining pools stats, it shows that Minotaur X is more profitable of a coin. Maybe that is, maybe that is if you're mining straight and getting paid out in that coin. But in this case, I'm flipping to Bitcoin. So for me right now, I might flip the other rigs eventually to Ghost Rider mining Victorium. This is showing me I'm getting a over a, almost, like I said, 12 plus hours, a bigger payout, even though it's pennies, right? But it's just a, it's just a test, a bigger payout in Bitcoin mining the Ghost Rider algorithm on my Ryzen 9 3900Xs. I was hoping it would be a lot simpler where you just went through the pool right here and just say, oh my, look at this. Minotaur X is up there 0.7. Just mine that and get paid out in Bitcoin. You'll get the most Bitcoin than mining a lower coin. Of all things, Ghost Rider is down here at 0.004. This is at 0.7. So I'm just an idiot. Even though it says uh, Bitcoin mega hash a day. So it's mega hash a day versus, oh, I lost it again. I'm sorry. I should sort these. Mega hash a day versus kilohash a day. Yeah. I don't know. I guess you just got to experiment and see what works best for you. But uh, you can see right here the Ghost Rider hash rate. And again, it's, it is different. It's kilohash a day. It's about four, three to four right here. And then this one down here is a uh, mega hash, which is 0.015 to 0.02 mega hash a day. So there's your comparison right there. So it's a good way to go through using Zerg pull to see which coin, which algorithm, not just coin, but which algorithm will be most profitable for you if you're mining with your CPUs or other. But uh, I just thought that was an interesting test. And right now, it looks like for me, Ghost Rider 
and BitTorrent, uh, BitTorrent, yeah. Yeah, and BitTorium is giving me, although it's fractional, I mean, it's pennies, right? But over time, it's going to add up, is giving me the best payout in Bitcoin. So that's how I'm looking at this. There's probably an easier way to do it. And uh, I know I'm comparing, I know it's a little tricky comparing the kilohash a day uh, to the mega hash a day. But so if you look at the hash rate for each algorithm, Ghostwriter hash rate is in kilohash a day. Minotaur X is in mega hash a day. And uh, four kilohash is 0 0.004. So again, the numbers are still less if you compare them to the same units. So I would think Minotaur X would return me the same amount of Bitcoin or more based on this table. So again, I'm just trying to figure it out. And I think it maybe it's depending on the hardware, the type of CPU. I just don't know enough. I'm trying to look through the Discord on Zergpool to figure out what is the best way to pick a coin on here other than to do what I am doing. And uh, this is even hot right now. It's down near the bottom. It's at a 0.04 estimated. Uh, it's got a lower hash rate. The fees are 0.5%. They're all the same on the fees. Yeah, I don't know. But again, this experiment shows me. Oh, wait. Hash rate is 1.7 mega hash. That shouldn't matter. That's actually less. That's a less hash rate than the 2.2. Miners are a lot less too on Minotaur. Okay. So again, to me, it looks like I'm just going to have to go through and play and figure out to me which one is profitable. In this case, it is BitTorium using Ghostwriter. And uh, yeah, I was hoping I could just go by this chart. I'm just not reading right. There's a simpler way to do it. You get your, even if I take my, my hash rate, you take your hash rate for the algorithm, 4.5. This is in kilohash, 4.5 times. And then you find your algorithm, which is Coach Rider. And just take the estimate. Current estimate is 0 0.004. And that's in kilohash. Got to make sure you have the right units. 0 0.004. 0 0.018. 0 0.018. I'm going to write that down. 018. All right. Now let's go up to the uh, Minotaur X. Okay, so now let's go to the Minotaur X reported hash rate on Zergpool 15.4 kilohash. Okay, 15.4. 15.4 kilohash. You gotta make sure in the right units. Go down to the pool, Minotaur X, and you notice it's mega hash a day. It's point seven seven two eight nine so i'm going to if i'm doing this right i'm going to flip this to mega hash so divided by because i'm going up in units from a smaller unit so it's going to be fractional times uh zero point seven seven two eight nine or Okay, here we go. Now, this is making a little more sense. So, this is giving me my number is 0 0.019 for Minotaur X. When I did Ghost Rider, the same way, I took the hash rate times the uh, current estimate profitability on the pool of Ghost Rider. It gave me 0 0.018. So, a bit better... So maybe that is the quick computational way you can decide which coin is going to be the most profitable for you. But again, you have to know your hash rate. So it's almost like you're going to have to run for like, I give it like uh, hours, you know, go for a, a day or six hours or something. Just get an average hash rate, let it equalize over time. And then you can take it times the current estimate on Zergpool. And I'm sure there's calculators out there that do this, but if you just want to learn how all this crap works, this is I'm just figuring it out with you as we make this video. So again, public math is hard, and there's always a rule, a couple rules in life. Number one, don't be a douche. Two is don't do public math. And then three is never miss an opportunity to use a bathroom. So there's a lot more, but those are the top three. Uh, let's see. So again, this explains why the uh, Ghostwriter is doing better. It is slightly better based on using the hash rate times the uh, current estimate and rewards. and uh, Or if you're going to do it, you got to get your hash rate right. 
So if you're going to get your hash rate, this table over here is going to show you. So you have a couple rigs. Why not split them out if they're the same like I did? These are two Ryzen 9 3900Xs, right? These are two Ryzen 9 3900Xs, and it just immediately shows me, oh, crap, look, Ghost Rider is better. And it's not awesomely better. It's better by percentage points, right? You're talking a matter of, oh, where's my calculator? <laughs> 58% to uh, 41. So it's a little bit better. I mean, yeah, yeah you, again, if you're going to run and get your hash rate, you got to know your hash rate on your rigs. Poor, poor, per algorithm. It's not just hash rate equals all. As you can see here, hash rate depends upon whatever algorithm you're mining. And again, these are also using two different miners. I don't know if that really matters. But it also counts on the shares too. I'm actually getting more shares on the Minotaur X right now than the uh, Ghost Rider, which is interesting. And this has a higher TFF right now than M Mazda Coin and Minotaur X. So, but Ghost Rider is still, and Bitorium is still more profitable for me. Again, it's fractional sense of a Bitcoin and all that crap, right? But again, it's, you know, it's a nice little exercise to go see how you get the most profitable coin for your hash rate. I don't know, that's where I'm at. We worked through it together. It was painful, I'm sorry. If you're better at math or understanding this stuff, good on you. I do this to document my journey, and together we learned. Together we have we have become friends through pulling math, finding the most profitable coin. And the beauty of this is I like that Zerg pull. You can go do this yourself. You can become your own nice hash. You can become I, not unminable because unminable you are only mining random X, which is Monero. But this way, you can go pick these profitable algorithms or these algorithms you think are profitable. See which one is the best for you. Spend some time. Spend a day. you know. And once you get your hash rate, once you know this and you're happy with it, write it down on a table for each algorithm. You know, It could take a day of work to go pick the algorithms which are constantly performing in the highest. Write down your hash rate on it. Then all you got to do is come in here to your uh, Zerg pull, pull status table. Lamo, I just sort by current estimate, look for CPU, and you say, oh, okay, make sure you're in the same units, mega hash, kilo hash, whatever, pH, peta hash, right? You got to make sure you're, or tera hash, wow. You got to make sure you're in the same units when you're doing the computation. And that's going to show you right there what is the most profitable coin for you for the day, you know? And then you can switch your rigs accordingly. You can become your own nice hash, baby. I love it. So again, we worked this out together. We worked it out. It was painful. I'm not the brightest cookie, even though I went to public school. This is what you get. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I thought this was a fun exercise. And uh, it kind of filled in a few holes that I wasn't sure about, about comp uh, computing the hash rate based on the estimate on the pool. And then you're also paying the little conversion fee to get the Bitcoin. But I'd rather have the pool do it because, listen, if I were to get paid out in Bitorium, Send it to an exchange, pay the network fee, boom. Then switch it to Bitcoin, pay another fee on the exchange, boom. Now I got Bitcoin. Now guess what? I want to put that Bitcoin, and there's probably some requirements on how much you can flip, and based on how much you exchange, they're gonna they're gonna tax you accordingly. Uh, the the pools will put a fee on it. Then they get paid out back to your wallet, boom, another fee. I'd rather let them just do it. I'll get my Bitcoin. It's gonna go right into my uh, secure wallet. And uh, I'm done. And I'm going to be stacking Satoshis in the down market while people are in the streets screaming and in fear. Fear and greed index is off the, or the fear index is off the scale. People are freaking out. I'm like, hey, man, this is time. There's blood in the streets. Keep mining. Keep mining. As long as you can afford the electricity, keep mining, stacking the coins. But if I wasn't making any money on this stuff and I was paying more on electricity, I'm going, geez, I'm, I'm paying 400 bucks in electricity and I'm mining a couple of coins. Why not just take that money? go to Coinbase or Voyager and buy the coin. I, it's the same thought process. And with Voyager, you can just start staking those coins and get a rewards. There's a school of thought there. Mining's a hobby. I get it. Residential mining, most people do it for a hobby. Um, and, uh, but again, if you have the cash, you're going to be, you're going to be dulling out, paying out on your electric bill. You can take that extra money, 500 bucks, a thousand, whatever your power bill is, dump it in the Voyager, buy the coin, buy Bitcoin and immediately start staking it for three to 5%. And at Voyager, if you have the Voyager token, you get an extra bump of a percent. 
So that's a thought process there, there as well. So it's all based on your mindset, what you want to do. I'm just showing you, here's how I could use the pool to be like my own nice hash and uh, go from there. Or just use nice hash too. You can do that too. But this is fun. This gives you more hands-on, more understanding of how it works and gives you a leg up on all the other people mining. It, it makes you more, uh, more, uh, more of an expert. I'm uh, not expert, but more of more aware of the domain and how the system works and how the pools work and how you get paid out. So it's kind of good. Knowledge is power, right? And it kind of will make you more flexible with your mining rigs. Uh, you can now take this test and go to NiceHash and compare and uh, see what happens. See if you're getting the same payout on your Ryzen 9 3900 x whatever rig. Slap it on a NiceHash. Let it rip. I might do that. Run it on. Uh, run that CPU on NiceHash. See, uh, see what they pay out. I think they do CPU mining. I'll have to check. I, I know they do GPU mining, obviously, but I don't know if they do CPU mining. Uh, something to check into. Again, there's so many cases, but if you have the time, you have the resources, and you want to spare a rig for a day or two rigs, you can do stuff like this. But the key here, I guess the key takeaway to make things faster, there's an initial learning curve to get your hash rate for the algorithm. Once you have that, that's power. Then you can decide, oh, I got my hash rate on this algorithm. This is how much I will make on that day. There you go. That's all I got. I'm just babbling now, making rants. Hope we all learned something today. We had a little mining Zerg pool computational exercise. You saw how my brain finally figured it out. I'm a little bit slow, but once I get it, I get it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Right? Right. All right. I'm out, guys. Go forth. Do great things. See ya.